midday, July, Boston was in the throes of a summer heat wave with no sign of the ending elapse. It was the kind of day that puts a serious strain on one's working relationship with Apollo. Keeping myself occupied was my only hope of staying sane. It was on that day that I was given the package from the grinning retailer. In this box it was not just a video game, but a new assignment for me. An assessment of quality. Jake Hunter, Memories of the Past. Standard point-and-click mystery game. Search locations, gather clues, catch the bad guy, hardly breaking new ground. It's a second Jake Hunter game released in the US. Not a sequel per se, so much as given the original the old spit and shine. The gold edition, if you will. But I had my suspicions that this gold was a mere gilding, a bright and beautiful shell to hide the decay underneath. Title character, Jake Hunter. With a stone face that Bogart calls stoic, and detective skills that Monk calls supernatural, he's a classic freelance P.I. Grew off his old boots with a mean right hook for the constant battery of thugs. It all had an air of familiarity about it, as if the writers were drawn straight from the detective story playbook. I suppose their intention was to make it all dark and gritty, but the end product made it look like they went to the personality store and were content just to window shop. I began my investigation at the meat of the game, the five case episodes, but it soon became clear that this was going to be my most daunting case yet, the mystery of where the challenge was in this Jake Hunter game. At any given moment, there were no more than half a dozen possible actions, and no penalty for just trying everything. I couldn't help but wonder, why does Hunter even need my assistance? He was always quick to correct my missteps, heaven forbid I had to figure out anything by trial and error. It felt less like investigating, and more like I was just there to validate what he wanted to do. Even in the fights, I was relegated to meaningless button presses. Now, I'm no stranger to bad fight scenes, but most of them can at least abide by the convention of show-don't-tell. To say this game leans entirely on storyline would be inaccurate, because it doesn't so much lean as fall flat on its face. The stories are about as surprising as vanilla pudding, and all the herrings I was catching were of the grey and blue persuasion. Really, Hunter could save himself a whole lot of time by just arresting the first suspicious guy he sees. So while the main content proved a dead end in my search for what it was that justified a $35 price tag, I wasn't out of leads yet. Perhaps I'd discover the rose among thorns within the extras. There's Memories of the Past mode, a clip show of sorts. Play through each of the case episodes, then get the third degree about trivia from the story. There was also a set of chibi-style mini-cases, a bizarre self-parody with a humor perhaps not catered to a Western audience. Now granted, these mini-cases penalize wrong answers, making for practically the only element of challenge in the game. Even so, the poorly translated dialogue made why so look like a native speaker. I say them bundle. They're crazy. I don't think I will ever get it and the unskippable text made it a real chore to try again after a failed attempt. Memories of the past can be summed up in one word, unengaging. It's a sliver of gameplay covered in countless layers of fluff, with played out tropes and predictable endings. That they tried to double dip with such an unimpressive game, a used coffin salesman would call that a crooked deal. I can name a whole mess of DS games that do the same thing only better. Get Hotel Dusk if you like snooping around, Phoenix Wright if you like whodunits, and Nine Doors if you just want a good story. If those three series are the appetizer main course and desert, then Jake Hunter is the after dinner mint. The one good thing I can say is that the soundtrack's got some nice toe tappers. It might be enough to keep you going just for the sake of finishing, or it might not. One star.